Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Native Mobile Vids. My name is Sachin and in today's video we are going to learn about column composable so in our last video we have covered about row composable and we also learned how we can use horizontal arrangement and vertical alignment inside our row composable so let's modify our main screen composable let's delete all of these things from here so right now our main screen will be having one surface composable with gray background and it will cover our entire screen so if we see the preview we can see this is our main screen composable as of now and let's modify this bar and let's make this as a square for now okay a square bar maybe and here inside the surface we can give some same height and width maybe 120dp and same in the width as well 120dp okay so this will be our square and we will be passing the colors here and then inside our main screen we can use column composable this one coming out of this compose foundation layout and if we go to the declaration of this column composable we can see we can pass one modifier we can pass vertical arrangement and horizontal alignment so this we need to make sure that whenever we are using column we will be using vertical arrangement okay and if we are using row then we will be using horizontal arrangement so inside our column we can define one modifier like this modifier dot fill max size just to cover the entire screen and then inside this we can put some children's so for now let's take this square bar and let's add here inside our column composable and we can pass some color maybe blue color for now color dot blue then we can take another square bar and we can pass another color maybe magenta this time same way we can add few more square bars with different different colors maybe green another one with yellow okay like this and now let's refresh our preview to see how our screen is looking so our preview has been updated and we can notice that all of these square bars are arranged in a vertical orientation. So as we are already familiar that we use column composable to arrange the children in vertical direction. The same output we are getting when we are using the column composable with these four square bar children. Alright. Now we can use arrangement to arrange the children of our column composable so to use arrangement we need to use this named parameter vertical arrangement and then we need to use arrangement dot anyone we like so we can use center for now and then let's refresh our preview so we can see that all of the children's are arranged in the center direction and if you want to put these children at the bottom we can use arrangement dot bottom like this and then we can refresh our preview like this so our children are at the bottom right now if we want to place some space around these children we can again use space around and then let's refresh our preview so this way space around works so space around basically adds some space on the top and bottom of each of these children that's why we can notice that in middle there are a lot of space so as we can see as of now our column is aligned to the start we can also change the alignment for that we need to use this horizontal alignment and then we can pass these value for the alignment if we want to put in the center we can use center horizontally so we can notice that our column is aligned in the center we can also align this column in the end with the help of this alignment dot end we can also use space evenly here and then let's use this center again and let's refresh our preview so right now all of these children are having equal space so this way our column composable works so now we have learned how we can place some children in a horizontal orientation using this row composable and we have also learned how we can place some children in a vertical direction using column so now let's learn how we can combine these both and how we can put some children in an estate orientation so for example let's say we want to make two rows and we want to put inside this column so we can use the row composable here like this row 
and inside this we can give some modifier we can just pass modifier dot fill max size we can take up entire space and then inside this we can use these two square bars and for now let's keep this as it is and let's refresh so as of now we can see that it is just showing up these blue and magenta in one row and then these two square bars are not coming up because this row is taking up the entire space if we just click on this we are coming here so let's just say fill max width we just want to take this width we don't want to take the entire screen space so right now we can see that this is our row and then also have two square bars which is also following the same arrangement and alignment so for now let's take one another row and put rest of these square bar inside this like this and let's refresh our preview again so now we have one column and then we have two rows so these two row will put these square bars in horizontal orientation and then our column will put these two rows in vertical orientation okay so now let's add some arrangement here horizontal arrangement and we can just pass space evenly here and the same arrangement we can add inside this row as well okay like this and let's refresh our preview now so it's looking like this now and then we can also take another row like this and we can just pass some another color maybe red and we can just take black like this and we can refresh our preview again so we'll be having three rows now like this okay so this way we can also create some basic layout where we are just nesting the children inside row and column so now that we have learned how we can arrange our composables inside horizontal and vertical orientation using column and row composables so now next we have few icons with us so let's use these icons and build some interactive layout so for that let's define one new composable first and let's use this composable annotation we can name it image section and this image will take a resource so we can pass one resource as one parameter of integer type and then inside this we can use inbuilt image composable this one and here inside painter we need to pass painter resource this one and then inside id we need to pass this resource and then in content description we can pass null for now okay like this now we can use this image section composable and let's use this inside our first row let's delete this square bar and use image section and here in named parameter we can pass one driver electric car and we can use another image section and we can pass another one tractor and let's refresh our preview okay so our preview has been updated but images are coming very small so let's go inside image section and let's add some surface first of all and let's give some custom height and width we can use same values so let's use this and here we can add it around our image like this and let's add some color maybe white color as the background for now color dot white like this and let's refresh our preview again okay so we can see that our images are coming up like this let's use our image section in these two rows as well so let's go to our main screen composable here and inside this let's delete the square bar from second row and let's use image section this one and let's see what others driver we have we have flight and sailing so we can add those here flight and the another one sailing okay and let's refresh our preview okay so it's coming up now and inside this third row as well let's use the same image section and let's use these another driver this one and we have 
snowmobile the last driver we have so let's add this and let's refresh our preview again okay so this is coming up let's run this on the real emulator so our project is building yes so our application has been installed and we can see that we have one column which has three rows inside so we have these three rows vertically and then we have these two image section inside each row which is coming horizontally so that's it for the today's video guys in this video we have learned how we can use column composable and how we can use column and row together as well we also learned how we can use image composable i hope i shared something valuable with you today if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video